Hello, my name is Willy and I will be explaining to you how to use the ICA online statistics tool. How to create selections, add filters and view and export the reports. If you have any questions, please contact us through our website icaworld.com or find us on Twitter or Facebook. How to create the worldwide ranking. How to get started? Well, first you go to icaworld.com. Then you log in under My ICA with your company login and password. So let's do it. That will bring you to the member only page. And the fourth tab, so one, two, three, four, gives you the ICA statistics tool. Just click on the underlined phrase. That will bring you to the start page. In order to create the worldwide ranking, you use a report wizard, which is done in three easy steps. First you define a destination, then the year range and op optional filters, and then report sections. Let's see what that looks like by clicking on the go to report wizard button. Define destinations. In this video, we want to create a worldwide ranking. So you see, from the four options, we stick to worldwide and click on next step. Then we select the year range. You have options, but for the, the old fashioned worldwide ranking that you are used to, you leave it at the last 10 years, but feel free to customize. There are more filters. You can fill in minimum, maximum of participants or even a subject matter. But I want the whole worldwide ranking, so I click on next step. The final step, report sections. What do I want in my report? Standard is number of meetings and estimated total number of participants. But as you can see, you can remove and you can add other sections, like average number of participants. Also, there are more options like rotation area, frequency of meetings and so forth. Feel free to add. You click on Run Report and your worldwide ranking is being produced as we speak. Here we are number of meetings in a graph, but also in figures, in order of 2012. Please have a look, go through it, and check out all the buttons. Here you see that you cannot just see the first 30 countries and cities, but by clicking on see all destinations, you can see the entire ranking. If you feel that you have missed a subject, a section, just go all the way up and add, for instance, subjects. If you want subjects also in your worldwide report, just click on it, on it and immediately your report is being updated. So if you go down, you will see that subject has been added to your report. And the same goes for if you want to change the destination, the year range, or add number of participants or subjects. If you are happy with your report, you can download it as a PDF or save your selection. You can just click on save and you give it a name. Click on save and then you see your selection has been saved in my selections. If you click on it, you'll see that I have made pre previously some reports. Here you can see when. If you want to open an old report, you can just click on it. And by saying old, I mean 
a report that you previously made because it's never old. Whenever we update the database, these reports are also updated. So if you made uh, one of these reports and you open it again in, say, six months' time, then you might see some changes because we keep updating. So this concludes our training video on the ICA statistics tool. For more guides on this tool, please have a look at, at our other training videos. If you have any questions or would like to know more, visit our website icaworld.com or find us on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you for watching.